All right, so welcome back to another video. So we continue to make small refinements and upgrades to our Class B camper van that we built a little over a year ago. And one of them is we're using it on the road. Uh, we have our gray water tank under the driver's side here. And if you didn't watch that video, be sure to check it out. Uh, but you can see we have a standard, you know, large RV style dump valve and connector. And then I have this smaller garden hose style connector because depending on some campgrounds where we've stayed, they've had a garden hose size connector for uh, gray water to be able to just have a connection for that. So depending on where you're at, you know, you want to research the legality of gray water disposal. Um, but sometimes it's nice to be able to just dump the gray water right where you're at. Maybe you're over a storm drain. Maybe you're out in the middle of nowhere. After all, we're just talking about shower water, water that's used to wash dishes. We have a separate tank for the toilet inside that we can empty. But the problem we have is our fresh water tank is much larger than our gray water tank. So after taking showers for a couple days, our tank's completely full and we need to empty it. And sometimes it'd be nice to be able to just flip a switch inside and empty that tank like at night or whatever, just let it kind of drip drip out without having to come outside and pull this valve. Again, everyone's situation is gonna be different, but if you're looking for this type of scenario to solve that, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. We're gonna to be able to keep everything in place and add this additionally. So I'm gonna bring you under the van here. You can see this is the outlet on the gray water tank for the big line. We have the spare half inch, basically just bung, you know, a cap threaded in there. So that's gonna be the basis to how we mount this at the lowest point of the tank. And then this valve is basically, there's a couple of different types you can get. There's a three wire valve, which basically you apply 12 volts one way and, or to one wire and it opens and then apply 12 volts on the other wire and it closes. There's one where you reverse polarity and then there's this type. Mine is probably the simplest. It basically, you just apply 12 volts DC, you know, from the van on a switch, and that will open the valve. So as long as 12 volts is applied to it, the valve will be open. When I switch off the switch, this thing has a capacitor that stores enough voltage inside, like a little battery, that it closes the valve. So almost like spring pressure, this thing will close off when I shut down power to it. That is the easiest way to wire this. You're just applying 12 volts when you want it open. And when you remove power, it closes itself. This is stainless steel, so we don't have to worry about it, you know, rusting out. And it's meant to be installed outdoors. So it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna have to run a wire. I have a gray water line that comes out right under the van up here. So I'm gonna try to just have the wire come out along that gray water line and then I uh, can kind of zip tie them together up to where we need to mount it. So let's go inside and I will show you what we need to do in there to provide power. Okay, so this is where my power center is back under here. Back under here is also where that pipe goes out. So I figured I would just mount the switch maybe like right down here or right here next to the power center. So plus I have an opening where I can just reach down, flip that switch. It's convenient to get power off of a circuit that we already have. Or I can add one real quick here, just for that. We'll want to fuse that pretty small, probably about five amps. Obviously I've just got a single position switch. It will be lighted. So I remember that I have the valve on Got a pack of those. I don't have links for all this stuff in the description. I just ordered a couple various half inch pipe fittings. Now, if you have a three quarter inch hole in your tank, obviously it will drain faster with a larger hole, but I'm just working with what I got. So obviously the time to do this would have been when we were building the van, but luckily I left myself ways to access everything. So I also got this nice little plate here so I can you know, cut a hole, have a little bit more room to work with and then screw this plate in, and then just once I get this wired up, snap it into there. So on one side of the valve, you know, we'll have one of these, 
other side of the valve, we'll have another one where it's started in the tank. Then I made this little 90 right here, and I do this on all my plumbing uh, terminations that come out of the bottom of the van. I just take this little stainless steel uh, screen that I had just lying around, and I kind of bend it around the end of the pipe. What this does, this keeps like mud daubers, bugs, and other stuff from going up in the piping. If they got in here, they could possibly jam that valve, you know, and just cause issues down the road. So I'll be able to just have it like a little 90 degree turn down. It will slow the water down a little bit, but again, this is just for when we're just like wanting to let the water out a little bit. So I found a little spot for it here. Kind of marking where I need to cut out the wood. And I'll make it a little bit bigger than that. All right, so I've got the rough hole cut for the switch. Now I'm gonna drill my hole down through the bottom of the van. Just gotta watch. Look to see where the pipe is. Try to work around all that. All right, so I've got. It wired in to a spare circuit. Let's have its own circuit. Positive and negative. I've got the wire coming through the hole here. Now I'm going to go into the van and drill a hole up through the bottom so I can get the wire up through there. I'm just using this like 20 gauge uh, tinned copper marine wire. Use whatever you got. Or I have a suggestion in the description. Power inputs on the bottom. Oh wait. Let's see. I'm gonna wait before I plug that in before I get done on the bottom of the van. Alright, so here we are under the van. I'm just gonna put some silicone. Sure, we have this good and watertight, especially since it's down here in the wheel well area. So I've got that zip tied all the way up to here. Now I need to take this plug out. like a liquid Teflon sealer on here. So the rest of this is just kind of for show. I'm not really going to put sealant on that. Okay, I just need to make this wiring connection here. There it is, finished up. Now it's time to put some water in the tank and try it out. All right, so here's the finished switch. So we'll flip it and see if water comes out. And then we'll flip it off and the water will stop.
Okay, so there you go with the push of a button, we are draining our gray water tank. It's that easy. Again, probably a good idea if you want to do this, do it when you're building the van, but I was able to retrofit it without too much of a hassle. All right, so hopefully the video was helpful. If you'd like to see the entire build, we did videos on every aspect of building this van. I'll have a link in the description to the whole build series. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Till next time, we'll see you later.